What do you do in your job? In my job, I get to study plants on rooftops. This means I get to wear a cool safety harness to keep me safe at heights. So that involves wearing a helmet and wearing what they call a five-point construction harness. So it goes all around my body and to my back. Is attached a hook. And then down here is a hook that I can hook on to safety lines or to anchor points, and that keeps me safe if I fall off the roof. This thing keeps me from hitting the ground. Hi, I'm Dr. Brooke Best. I'm a botanist at the Botanical Research Institute of Texas. A botanist is a fancy name. It's an old school name, really, for a plant scientist, somebody who studies plants in all aspects. In my job as a botanist or a plant scientist here at the Botanical Research Institute of Texas, I study plants that are growing on uh, a green roof or a living roof. I study how they are performing, whether they're doing well up there or whether they're not surviving. I study the insects that interact with them. I study the soil up there. So I study the whole ecology of, uh, of a green roof. The thing that's really fun about my job or that excites me about my job is the fact that I get to be outside a lot. I always love playing outside. I was a nature kid growing up and I get to get dirty and I get to, I don't have to wear a fancy suit or fancy clothes every day. I get to kind of wear my dirty, dirty clothes, get muddy clothes. Uh, so that always I thought was a really fun and exciting part of my job. I also get to travel and I get to study organisms and plants in different environments around the world. Anywhere I go for fun or or for work, I can look around me and uh, I can be curious about plants and nature. So I really love that. I discovered my love for science because both of my parents are science teachers. Uh, my mom taught sixth grade science for a really long time and my dad, he taught physics and he taught chemistry. And we went to a very small school out into the, in the country and so I had both of my parents for my teachers. Um, and I just, I guess that's how I fell in love with science. Now I have two older siblings, two older sisters, and neither one of them became scientists. They, they wanted to do business stuff. But um, I have to credit my parents for giving me my love of science. Additionally, when I was in high school, I had some really great science teachers. Uh, and I would ask them all kinds of questions about, you know, how do you, what are different jobs you can have in science? Um, what kind of courses do you have to take? Which schools do you go to? So that really helped. If you want to do what I do and be a botanist or a plant scientist or a plant ecologist someday, or even a, a field scientist, field biologist, um, you do need specialized training, so oftentimes that involves um, some college courses. So you would need some biology courses, some ecology courses, and of course if you're going to do experiments and do research and you're going to be able to analyze uh, the things that you find, the data that you come up with, then you're probably going to need to take some statistics um, classes, and that means math. But those classes are really fun and you get to learn a lot. You can also take um, ecology and genetics and molecular biology and developmental biology and all kinds of chemistry classes. And um, if you like school uh, and you like labs and you like doing active things, um, then you'll like majoring in biology. Specifically, to be a plant ecologist that studies green roofs, uh, I had to get trained on you know, the safety gear, how to be safe in that um, rooftop system. And I had to read up, you know, I got trained basically in basic ecology and biology going to college and then going on to graduate school and studying um, botany uh, and getting a botany PhD, but I didn't know anything about green roofs, so I had to just read books and read papers, and I taught myself this field. I didn't study this specific thing that I'm working on now in graduate school or in any kind of school. I had to learn it all on my own, and I did most of it through, through reading. My job involves STEM because, well, S is for science, so, you know, obviously I'm a scientist. Um, Technology, I oftentimes on the roof, I use remote monitoring. So I have a weather station up there and that weather station has little probes that I stick into the ground. And so I can measure what the soil temperature is and what the soil moisture is because that is related to how the plants are gonna perform on the roof. 
for engineering in a, in a rooftop system, if you've got put plants on a roof uh, and soil on a roof, um, that's going to get heavy, especially when it's wet. Think about how heavy a wet towel is uh, after you go swimming uh, versus a dry towel, right? That's a lot of moisture. That water adds a lot of moisture. Well, there's water inside plants and there's water inside wet soil. So you have to, a, a roof that you're going to put plants on top of has to be really strong. So that involves an engineering component. And then for math, if you want to do experiments on a roof, um, it involves math in order to figure out how you're going to sample the plants. Do I just walk around and sample and examine the things that I think are pretty? No, I need to randomize it. I need to impart some kind of systematic way that I can go about and I'm going to check every fourth plant along this line. That would involve math. What I really love most about working at Brit as a botanist is that I get to do all kinds of different things. I'm not just one thing. Um, I'm a teacher. I get to interact with students from little bitty kindergartners all the way up to college students and graduate students. Um, I get to teach uh, adults in, in, out in the community who are interested in uh, learning more about plants. Um, I get to interact with government officials. I get to interact with other scientists. Um, I get to help create displays and exhibits and programs. Um, and I get to I get to travel. I get to do collecting and get to uh, experience nature um, all over the place. And I'm always learning. The best part about my job is I all I'm always learning new things, uh, whether it's reading them, whether it's discovering them on my own, or whether it's hearing about it from from other people, even from students and people in the community. I'm always learning, and I love that. I got that from my parents. Mm -hmm.